Hey y'all, this is Storm from TaylorMade Potpourri and Buff Stuff Gaming. I thought I'd show you how I do the picture in picture effect and do my voiceover at the same time on Share Factory. After you edit your video out, here I'm adding the text in, changing the color, and getting it right. And then I'm going to go ahead and I want to do a picture in picture effect. I'm using my Drive Club video. And the way I did that was I, they have replay in Drive Club and I select the track side mode and let it run through and hit my share button and save that video clip. Then I ran it again. And I did a unique view from the front. And I let that replay run through. And saved it using my share button. And now I want to combine the two together. So what you do is you go in to add a track 2 as you saw there. And I'm going to add a, a clip. At first, I have to trim it down. As you saw, I added it, and it went over eight minutes long. The nice thing is the blue bar there is your main thing, and the one the red one is the one that your picture and picture is on. So after you trim it, get it close to what you want, You have to go in and do some fine tuning because you want to make sure that your picture in picture and your main video is matched up. And like I said, in this case, I'm using Drive Club Bikes. And I'm going to have trackside in my main window and the front view as my picture in picture window. After you get it in there, you, of course, you're going to make some adjustments. Like I said, you want it to line up. You know, you want it to start or be close. And you get her done, and as you can see, that's how she's going to look. I split my clip because I don't want my text to run the whole time during my video. And you can edit your track too by trimming it. You can change the volume. Also, you can select your picture in picture layout, how you want it. And there's your selections. For this particular one, I'm using the swivel. That'll be offset and have the swivel effect. Now, once you do that, you got a backdrop you got to do. It will automatically add your last clip in as your backdrop. But what I like to do is I like to change it. So you go in and you click replace black. Uh, edit your track 2. Replace your backdrop. And I'm using solid color on this one here. And you click on solid color. You go back out again. And you said picture and picture backdrop and backdrop settings. And you get the color adjustment to where, how you want your background to look. And this is how mine's going to look. You get all that stuff done. But with the track 2 being the picture and picture effect leaves no room for your audio. So you tried to add track 2 in, add audio, and when you go to hit to record it, it's only going to record up till your picture in picture takes over. So the way that you fix this is after you delete that little short audio clip that you put in there, leaving everything alone, you export it and say you're going to share it later. And you go back in your share factory. 
me just making sure which clip I'm talking about it. And you're going to open up a new project. You can pick your project, it doesn't matter which one. And then you go down and you delete the clips. You always leave one, but you, can, you don't have to. And you find the one that matches it, this one being 2 minutes and 56 seconds, so I know it's that clip right there. And hit the square and add the clips. Now there's my projects back up again. As you can see, with my picture in picture effect going on. And now I can go back in and add another track two. I can record my audio over top of my video. In essence, it's like a track three. So you get to do your voiceover the way you want it. While you're picture in picture up there running. And after you get it the way you want. After you get it, you put your audio tracks in. This one here is on the end always. The one beginning, one the end. Sometimes I talk all the way through it. And I have a habit is, once I do my audio, I'll go back. And at the beginning or the ending of my audio, I'll split my clip. And increase the volume on my track 2 by going to the edit feature of track 2. And lowering the volume on my main track. And it just brings out the best in my, what I'm trying to say and what I'm trying to get across, which I'm not too good at. And then you go in, you delete the extra clips that you may have. And after your audio is all set, you got your volumes adjusted to where you want it. You export it to the gallery. Project is saved. And here's the finished product. Hey y'all, Storm from Bust Stuff Gaming. I thought you'd like to take a look at, unique look, at my Drive Club bikes. The uh, main screen is... And that's a look at how I do the picture in picture and add the audio afterwards. All this is done on Share Factory. It's a little bit of work, but it's worth the effort. This is Storm from Taylor Made and Buff Stuff Gaming. I hope you stop back by the channel again. Subscribe and like, and y'all have a great day.